Lisa here. Welcome back to my channel, or welcome if you are new here. I am going to be unboxing the May 2019 Enchanted Crystal Crystal of the Month box. Now, when I first signed up for this box, I actually um, signed up for the, uh, I forget what it's called, but the bundle that you get like five to six different crystals a month plus a crystal grid. And I have recently changed my subscription to try out just the crystal of the month because I recently went to a gem show, actually two of them, and I've acquired a bunch of crystals lately and I want to avoid oversaturation. But I did notice when I was looking for unboxings of just the crystal of the month, there wasn't very many. And I don't know if that's because everybody just goes all in or I don't know. So we're going to check it out together. Also, I may have quite a few other items to show you that I have picked up this weekend so I will be sharing those with you as well. I hope that you are having an awesome day so far. I'm going to dig in because I like opening things. It makes me real happy and I also real like show, really like show and tell. So I'm going to show you all the other stuff but first this one. So if you're here just for this, I'm doing this part first and then I'll babble about all the other stuff after that. So with that said, I've got my scissors. I haven't even opened like the packing tape. It's so exciting. I actually really, really, really love opening stuff. <laughs> I mean, who doesn't like opening stuff? I mean, anybody? If you're watching this right now, do you like hate opening stuff? I want to hear from you. I want to know why. Why is that? If you love opening stuff, I, I want to hear from you too. Because I think opening stuff is fun. I like opening surprise stuff the mostest. Yes, I said the mostest. Because I'm five. And that's how I roll when I open presents. So it comes in in this um, box with this really cool crystal tape on it. But it's otherwise, I guess, fairly discreet. Oh, one thing I wanted to point out. Sorry, squirrel moment. If you are international, um, I've never had to pay customs on this one or the larger one. And I noticed today that on the customs declaration, they say mineral specimens for research and study. So pretty sure that makes this less likely to get hit with customs because it is just mineral specimens um, or rock specimens or whatever. But I like the way they've labeled it. Sometimes labeling how something is labeled can really make a difference when it comes to customs. If you're international, um, I think this one ships to uh, North America. I think they also have international shipping. I will put the links um, for the subscription services down below so you can check it out. But the Crystal of the Month one is only $16 US plus shipping if you're international. And I think shipping is like five or maybe it's just plus shipping. I'm clearly really good at this. Can you tell how prepared I am? <laughs> I will put all the relevant info down below. But they send it with a little letter, which is always really nice, kind of what they've been up to. Um, let's see if it says anything. It doesn't have any spoilers in it, so I'll read this after. This really it's more like a kind of what we're up to at Enchanted Crystal Headquarters. Ooh! So it says, my crystal of the month this month is quartz, which is pretty exciting. So it says, for this month's crystal of the month, we wanted to bring you all a classic staple of any collection. Not going to be sad. You can never have too much quartz. Um, the quaint and quintessential quartz. Composed of one silicon atom joined with two oxygen atoms, quartz is the second most common mineral in the Earth's crust. Spanning all throughout history, quartz has wowed various cultures with its natural beauty. Dating back to roughly 50 AD, ancient Romans thought quartz to be water that had been frozen for so long that it permanently turned to ice. That is so cool. I didn't know that. Um, even more fascinating, in ancient Australian mythology, quartz was used by shamans for healing and believed to be where they derived supernatural powers. Interestingly, due to quartz potency in the environment, it composes a notable portion of airborne dust in the world. This becomes important in jewelry production as any stone softer than quartz on the Mohs hardness scale, of which quartz is rated as 7, can slowly be tarnished by continuously wiping dust off of the piece. This is due to micrograins of quartz creating tiny scratches across the surface. It is a big part of why harder gemstones are so desirable for jewelry. Interesting. Okay, so it also comes packed in this eco-friendly, like, paper, um, recyclable compostable probably yeah it's just raw paper but it's like accordion paper that protects um, what you get in their boxes and they always wrap their items really 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 well I will say that in both the crystal of the month subscription and in the bigger selection box you get a little baggie with some free bonus crystals so this month the bonus crystals are rose quartz amethyst shards and gray agate oh that's a, those are good all-rounders let me show these off so they come in a baggie like baggie like this. 
So the gray agate that I got looks like that. And the color seems to be showing up pretty true on camera from what I can tell in the preview. The rose quartz is a really pale, almost white, milky color. And the amethyst little, what does it call them? Amethyst <clears throat> shards? These are actually not insubstantial. There's this one is kind of chunky, little guy. These guys are much smaller. So I've got a little amethyst shard there. It's really pale. And then two more like that, like that. So these would be good for like gritting or like I love this little one actually because it's actually a couple little tiny points on there. Look at that. I love that. So let's open my crystal of the month. So it's not like a tiny package here. So here's my hand. Here's my hand. See if I can not cough. That would be awesome. <clears throat> okay. I feel some movement in here, which worries me. It might be multiple pieces or something's broken. Pray for me. Let's see how we do. Let's see if I can get this plastic open without damaging anything. Okay. I cut the tape. That was a smart way to do it. And I should be able to now just unwrap. Okay, I'm gonna do this carefully because I don't want to... You always have to... <clears throat> Sorry, you always have to be a little bit careful with these because, I mean, these are... Some of the rocks that they ship are... Fra oh, this did break a little bit in there. But I'm kind of okay with that. So here, I've got this little piece here that broke off. And I have a little... Point that did break off. This is a cluster, so I'm going to be lifting it up, but it is a stunner. So, bear with me one sec. Oh, I just found another little piece. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I will be finding that after. I'm going to just tip this guy before I hold him up to make sure any other little pieces are... But look at this. So you can see just how clear this big piece is right there so it's got a big point and then there's a couple of small points but these are very very clear i'm going to hold it up so you can see the candle flame even showing through the points so this one right here in the center let's see if the camera will oh, can i get it it's running from here to about here from like that <laughs> hopefully the camera is picking up all of the gorgeous sparkle and clarity and it is completely flat on the bottom with like a little bit of a, like a hole kind of there. So it does look like one of the little points did break in shipping. So that little piece there. But with clusters, you know, when you buy them, unless, like, thank goodness, none of these bigger ones broke off. Because it was very carefully packaged, right? It was, it, this was probably a piece that sat near one of these very edges. But that is a stunning piece, and I am super excited. I actually don't have a quartz cluster like this. I do have a quartz cluster, but it's not this clear. It's got more of a milky quality to it. So I'm just going to keep showing you because it's really pretty. So I'm very, very pleased with this piece. I love that it's kind of raw and chunky, and it feels quite hefty. So this is not small, and I feel like this is not the kind of thing that I would normally buy for myself because I tend to gravitate towards larger points or polished stones when I'm picking up for myself. Um, so this is really special. I'm pleased with that. So this was the crystal of the month. So again, just to wrap up, I got a rose quartz, a gray agate, some small, where did those go? Look at me already losing, oh, I put them back in the bag. How smart. And then some of these little amethyst bits in the May Crystal of the Month Club. So that is exciting. Ah. Oh, it's so pretty. I love how it catches the light. Okay, I'm gonna put that down. So other goodies. Over the past weekend, when my sister was in town, we went to a few places. So let me give you guys a little recap. Mm -hmm. So Saturday, we went to Granville Island. Now Granville Island in Vancouver is a large public market. So it's got a lot of fantastic uh, produce vendors and meat and fish. It's like the place to go if you are a if you love to play with food for starters, um, because you can get fantastic, really good fresh ingredients, particularly seafood and um, really high quality meats, homemade artisan sausages, things like that. And you could also get 
the most amazing selection of produce. The ingredients you've never even heard of before. In fact, <laughs> I don't know if I have this footage still, but if I do, I might actually share it on my other channel at some point if I can find it. But one time, Peggy and I went to Granville Island and we separated and we each picked out a few surprise food ingredients for the other one and we did a home at home chopped cooking challenge so it was like you have to make an appetizer and you have to make an entree and these are the ingredients you have to use for each course you can add other stuff but you have to use these ingredients and we got each other some really cool obscure stuff it was super fun it was also really exhausting because we were cooking a lot and there was a lot of dishes but it was fun anyway when Jen and I went one of the um I took her into the public market we got a chance to browse around there we had some lunch while we were in there, I did spot a vendor that had some like body products, and I'm always a sucker for this kind of stuff. But this vendor had, uh, what is it called? What is the brand name called? Oh, here we go. Sweet Earth Soap Works in Vancouver, BC. So hopefully it'll focus on that text there. They have a website, I think. Yeah, sweetearthsoapworks.ca. They had this really beautiful um, lavender shea butter hand cream. They also had it in a, another scent. I can't remember if it was like, I think it was like a citrus, like mandarin or something. But the lavender one, you guys, is so lovely. It smells, it's just essential oil, like lavender essential oil in there, but there's a high percentage of shea butter in here, so it soaks in and it is so, so nice. I kept like putting it on and then like, you know how you do with essential oils sometimes? You can rub them on your hands and then like breathe them in. I kept doing that with this lotion. It's so relaxing. So that was a fun find. And then, what else did I find at Granville? Oh, yes. And then I dragged Jen in with me to, there's a really cool, like, musical instrument store. Oh, look, we've got a photo bomb. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Just checking on where the other dog was. Oh, okay. So <laughs> they're, they're bugging for dinner, so I'm making dinner. I made a t-shirt, too. Peggy made a t-shirt. <laughs> She's got a firebird on her t-shirt now. Because I had a big stain and I needed to cover it up. <laughs> and off she goes. I love Peggy photo bombs in my videos. So anyways, well, I took Because you're obligated because you, you have an obligation to tolerate I have crap. to put up with you because I'm but married look, to you. Look at the look. There's the, there's the you photo bomb. No, get the get fuck out. Get out. Okay. I'll try to swear I'm going to keep this in my video though, y'all, because this Chill is how we roll at the Pepe's household. Come on. All right. So I took Chill. Jen into a music store because this is, okay, did I bring over the other thing I've gotten there? No, I meant to, but I didn't. So there is a really cool like world instrument mm -hmm. store mm -hmm. in on Granville Island. I can't remember the name of it. But it is a, an amazing, magical place. And when you go in there, you can find all kinds of things. You can find didgeridoos and um, Irish penny whistles. Fun unknown fact about me is that I do play Irish penny whistle, though it's been years. Um, but they have those in there. They have drums. They have shakers. They have any uh, singing bowls, quartz bowls, anything you can imagine. It is a magical, magical place. And I just, literally, I saw it, and I don't think I, I didn't, no, not I don't think, I didn't give Jen a choice. I was like, we're going in here now. Um, this is what's happening. <laughs> and she just dutifully followed along, which was wonderful. But I, when I got in there, um, I realized that I thought it was a perfect place to shop for a shaker for my magical practice, something to just kind of shake up the energy. And I found this beauty and I've never seen a shaker like this so it is um, kind of wicker um, all the way around it's got this really lovely hook and then on the bottom um, what does it say made in Indonesia um, but it's got this almost this feels like um, it feels like almost like a really thick material like like a hide like what you'd have like a drum skin but really quite thick and hard so this is all natural materials um, but what I liked was the sound for starter. First of all, it looks really cool, but I love the sound. So it's got this like kind of, like it's not that really like heavy, um, loud, rattly. It's kind of got this higher pitch to it. And I also like that because this piece on the bottom is a dome shape, it makes a really cool sound when you swirl it. I don't know why, I just love it. So this is going to be living over on my main reading table space so that I can use this to sort of shake up, clear out energy. I can use my sage to cleanse and my Palo Santo to sort of bring in the sacred again. And I kind of picked that up, just full disclosure, from Avalon Cameron. I love her method for sort of, she disperses the energy, she cleanses, and then she brings in the sacred with the Palo Santo. And I kind of love that sort of triple, triple threat kind of management for creating sacred space. It just really spoke to me. And I had already been using the Palo Santo and the sage, but I had it brought in a shaker and this just is perfect so 
And as you guys know, because you can see behind me, because I'm pointing with my shaker, but I have these hanging racks. I've, I've got one more to hang so that I can spread things out a little because my collection grew. Imagine that. Um, but this little guy fits on those hooks as well, so I can actually hang him up if I want to. So I love that. So I found that there. I also found when we were there but did not buy because I didn't even want to look at the price or even pick it up. A gigantic ocean drum. Ocean drums are these really amazing, large, like huge, round, double-sided drums that are filled with, um, not filled with, but they have quite a few of these tiny little, I think they're stainless steel, like BBs or beads. And when you tip it, all the beads roll across the skin of the drum and it sounds like waves crashing on a shore. It's the most incredible thing. I'd never encountered them until I went to a sound healing session at Reflections Bookstore here in Coquitlam. They have, in their healing center, they have uh, sound healing sessions. And the sound healer that was working there, or that was offering the session, had, during our session, done something that sounded like ocean. And afterwards, I was like, what was that? And he was like, it's an ocean drum. And I was like obsessed with them ever since because I love ocean sound. As you guys know, I am a water baby. I love rain sticks and ocean sounds. They also had giant rain sticks there. Those were also tempting. Clearly I'm being a squirrel and I'm not getting very far. So this is going to be a long video. Hang out with me. It's going to be great. I promise. Anyway, obsessed with that. Obsessed, obsessed, obsessed. But I didn't want to touch it. So we left because <laughs> it was probably really expensive and I had a budget. So then after that, we um, made our way slowly back to the car and we ended up getting out of there. We did pop into an arts and crafts store um, where I picked up a fountain pen. Watch for a fountain pen video coming soon. I'm going to be doing a whole review and chit chat about pens because I'm kind of geeking out. But in other news, we moved along. We went to our, after that, we went to the reflections to our local metaphysical store. And I actually, I didn't bring it with me. I knew, I, oh no, yes I did. Yes I did. Smart girl is smart. Uh, no, I didn't. Smart girl is a liar. Oh, they're right in front of me. So, while we were at Reflections, I actually did not buy any tarot decks, but I did buy some of these little um, incense matches. Because sometimes I want to light just a little tiny bit of incense, and these burn not for very long at all. They're pretty mild, um, and you just light them like a match. I didn't... Okay, I'm going to squirrel on you again. Fun fact about me, I had these. These have been around forever. They have been around since like the 80s, probably even before that, possibly 70s. They've been around a long time because when I was a little baby witch and I was figuring out all this stuff, I encountered these. But see, here's how I thought they worked. <laughs> I thought that you lit them like you lit a match and then you blew them out and that little bit of smoke was what you got. I didn't realize, so I would then throw them away, right? I would like run them underwater and throw them away like you would with a regular match. What you actually do is you light them, let them burn for a second so that the actual stick part of the match catches like a incense stick and then you blow it out. And then the, the whole stick of the match is basically incense. So they're kind of cool. And I'd had them when I was a little baby witch and I had no idea what I was doing. So now as a grown up witch, I wanted to buy these and try them. And I actually got to try, um, while my sister was here, we tried the um, Jasmine one and it was really, really nice. I just lit it, blew it out, put it in my little um, smudging bowl. I have a, um, like a big smudging bowl with sand in it. Put it in that, let it finish burning and it was great. It only lasted, I think it even says on here what the burn time is. I think it's like, no, maybe it doesn't say, oh yeah. Nope, it doesn't say. But I think it's like probably seven minutes, six to seven minutes, maybe as many as 10, but but they don't burn very long. So if you just want like a little bit, especially like I like to do a card pull at bedtime, but I don't want to run through a whole incense stick at bedtime. These are perfect. So I got those and that was all I bought at Reflections, which meant I spent like $5 at Reflections. Which is magical because, at least it's magical for my pocketbook, because that is probably the least amount of money I've ever spent in that store. Um, actually, not true. I once got a deck, but I had a store credit. They have like a point system, so it only cost me like $2. But most of the time, I'm spending more than that. So, that's all I bought. That being said, there are some things that Reflections is currently ordered in that I politely asked them to order in. So, those are coming in the future. Stay tuned. After Reflections, we came home, we played some games, we hung out, it was great, we had a mellow evening. And then Sunday morning, we headed out to Banyan Books, which is the big metaphysical store that we have, metaphysical bookstore and, and 
spiritual bookstore, I would say, because it's not just metaphysical, it's also yoga and all kinds of other, all faiths, all, it's, it's great, it's fantastic. Banyan Books. So we went out there because Miss Ethany Dawn, you guys will know Ethany's channels, her book, Your Tarot Cart, Your Tarot Court, it sounded like I said cart, so I'm just saying it again to make sure, <clears throat> just launched and she was doing a book signing and a talk. And I have to tell you guys, Ethany is one of those people that works her ass off. She is in this community providing so much content. She runs the Tarot Readers Academy. Um, she runs Tarot Summer School. She writes. She is a deck creator. She is a full-time tarot reader. She is one of those people constantly working it in our community. And I just have mad respect for how much effort she puts in and heart and soul she puts into everything that she puts out in the world. And when she said that she was writing this book, I was excited. <clears throat> and I got a book plate actually signed by her at Newt's for my book when it because I was going to go home and pre-order it. And then I found out she was going to be doing a book signing. Like it's one thing after another, right? So I finally got my copy and got it signed. And I have to tell you, just on initial flip through, like I'm going to be doing a full review on the channel. But just on initial flip through, you guys, there's so much in here. If you have not, and everybody's talking about this book right now, but if you have not ordered it already, get it on pre-order on Amazon if it's not out already. Or go to your local metaphysical store. If they don't have them, have it in stock. Ask them why not. <laughs> because this is really exciting. I have read several books on the tarot court and from what she said in her talk and from the bits I've flipped through already, this is gonna be a game changer. This is like kitchen table tarot game changer. Like you know how that just took the tarot world by storm? That's what's gonna happen with this book, guaranteed. Um, it's just very well done, well put together, thorough, yeah, I'm really excited. So I'll be doing a full review once I've gone through the whole thing. <clears throat> she's also offering, if you if you pre-order this, she's also doing like a four-part um, study series in a Facebook group that you can join. So I'm going to be taking care of that soon, too, and probably following along with that. But I'm stupid excited about this, like stupid excited. So can't wait to dig in. That was like probably definitely the highlight of the weekend for me was getting to go to the book signing. She just did a wonderful job with her presentation. She did some on-the-fly three card pulls using the court cards and like putting this stuff into practice for us in a really tangible way um, by actually working with people like on the spot and it was just fantastic to experience. And I think he's just a sweet person to begin with. So it's really fun to, to interact. After that we went to lunch with Ethany and a few other people that had been at the book signing and just had a great time. It was actually kind of surprising. We went to this really, really wonderful cafe that is in Vancouver right across the street from Banyan called Aphrodite's <clears throat> and even though it was Mother's Day Sunday we had not a terribly long wait and there were like 11 of us and some fantastic food so that was really really fun and I have to say that um, the service was incredible it was just a really good experience I'm babbling I'm having a babbly kind of day I hope you're still with me just enjoying the babble just let just soak in the babble let it just let it just soak in <laughs> And I've managed to not cough, which is like success. So at Banyan, of course, there was some shopping. <laughs> and I shopped twice because I shopped once and then I was hovering and I didn't leave quick enough and then I shopped again. <laughs> but the first thing is like a total um, uh, happy surprise. So before we went to Banyan, I actually did a quick look on their website to see if there was anything new because they have their stock levels and all of that posted. And they had a mini deck I've had my eye on for a little bit now. Uh, so uh, some of you may know already that I have picked up this deck already. So this is called Whispering Woods. Now these are all by, are they all by, oh they're not all by the same, okay. This one is by US Games. And what's fun about this, there's no guidebook or anything. All the Macs are the same on this one, which I was kind of disappointed in. I wish they had had all different kinds of like wood themed, like forest themed backings. They're all the same backing, but then they have these sweet little messages on them. And this is just something fun that I always have nearby. So if I want to pull it, just a really quick message, nothing I have to think too hard about, just like a quick little like, like a, I've, I've described it on my channel before as like a quick little inhale and exhale, just like a quick little spiritual moment. This is the deck I'll reach for just for a quick little hit of spirit wisdom, you know? And so I've had this one for a while and recently um, some new ones have been coming out and this 
next series of them came out by Rockpool Publishing, and they did one called, I think it's called, my sister got this one, it's called Magic Doors, or it's a door. It's a door themed one. So each card has, it's the same exact size, each card has a different door, and then on the back there's a message. Well, Kelly Fitzgerald at The Truth and Story was talking about it, and I went to this, somebody linked like the catalog page for this whole series that Rockpool Publishing had, and I spotted this other one called Making Magic. And I was like, is that a mini sigil deck? And sure enough, that's exactly what this is. Um, so this is by Priestess Moon, who I don't honestly know who that is. Um, it's a 40 card mini deck, and the packaging on this is stunning. <laughs> so when I saw this on Banyan's website, I spotted that they had one left. Now, you guys, I do not pick up the phone. I'm not a phone person. I am a texting, messaging, don't call anybody unless you absolutely have to kind of person. And I picked up that phone, and I was going to call Banyan and ask them to hold this for me, but they didn't open <laughs> until 11, and um, that's about when we were going to be getting there. So we got to Banyan. I, like, raced up to the front. I grabbed one of their other ones, like not this one, but they, the doors one or whatever. And I went up to the front, I was like, do you have the magic version of this? I, I need it and your website says you have one and look, I have a picture and I've got the ISBN number. Can, can you look it up? <laughs> so she found it for me. It was on a different display away from all their tarot and oracle decks. So I'm so glad I asked because I would have never found it. And I got their, their very last only one. And I have to say, look at this packaging with the gold and it's kind of got, the box has that like almost rose petal feel to it. I was so excited. <laughs> so let me show it to you. I will actually do, if you guys want a full flip through on my channel, because this video is gonna be a million hours long, I'm sorry. Um, but I will do a full flip through of these on my channel. But there are symbols for all the elements with um, ways you can use them in your magical practice. And then there's even more. And then it just keeps going. And there's, there's all kinds of different stuff. So I am actually legit excited for this because sigil work is something that I've been diving deeper into in the past year and it's just, it was just exactly what I wanted. So all the backings are different of course and then they, or sorry, all the backings are the same. They all have this backing and then they have different symbols on the front with what you can use that sigil or symbol for. So this is just a fun a fun little guy that I am excited to kind of put in my magical toolkit and I like using sigils that are already pre-done like the ones I get from the witch's moon and such just for charging things for using to focus my intention and this just gives me like a toolkit of like 40 of them and it just kind of made me kind of made me happy so that was a fun find the only other deck that I purchased while we were at Banyan Books was the Heal Yourself Reading Cards by Inna Seagal now I've probably seen this at Banyan multiple times and it just never quite, I never quite picked it up, looked through it, and I, I swear, I feel like I looked through all their stuff. But this is another Rockpool Publishing, so it's also possible that it's newish. The back says, at last a card deck by Anna Seagal that is focused on healing, transformation, and the raising of consciousness. This deck is visceral, emotional, and raw in both text and visuals, expressing both the lighter and the darker side of life. My dogs are about to wrestle. In any case, um, the box is beautiful. It's one of those like kind of um, clamshell style. Look at the inside of the box. Is that not stunning? Uh, what really got me on this deck was number one, when I started flipping through the cards, I was like, whoa. I think I might've already shuffled it. Yeah, I shuffled it. Um, patience, sadness. But what I started to notice is that a lot of the cards were kind of challenging, like how teachable are you? Rejection. And you all know that I love my self-worth Saturday. I love doing this kind of personal growth work. I love doing shadow work. And I was like, wow, number one, this art is stunning. Like absolutely gorgeous artwork, tiny, tiny borders. So I don't even think I would feel the need to trim this. The backings are breathtaking. And I was just flipping through this and like, look at this hole in the soul. And I was like, wow. This looks like fantastic for personal growth work. There's only, a, I think there's 36-ish cards. Does it say on the back? Do, 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 do. 36 cards. Um, but when I started flipping through the guidebook, I noticed that for each, first of all, it's full color, which is amazing. And then for every single card, you have a really poignant message. And then underneath that, an action. And the action could be, uh, Okay, for example, on beauty, it has you looking at yourself in the mirror, 
asking how you uh, nurture your internal beauty, asking your body when it needs to feel healthy. A different one might be journal work. A different one might encourage you to go out and get outside your comfort zone. There's all kinds of like activities. So each card is like, hey, examine this thing, and then here's something you can do to work on that thing. And I was like, that is amazing. That is what I love about decks, when they like dig in and it's more than just a card pull. It like takes you outside of yourself a bit and asks you to do that deeper work. So when I spotted this, I was like, yes, this is happening. And I pointed this one out to my sister and I was like, hey, check it out. Like, look, right? Um, so I think, yeah, she picked this one up as well. She showed it on her live uh, haul that I think she put up. When you guys are watching this, she'll have put it up yesterday. So you can see her um, reaction to this as well. But I just, this one just kind of got me really excited. So if you want any more information on this one, you want a full walkthrough or anything like that, let me know. That was what I got for decks, and then I spotted, I actually had a third deck in my basket. I was going to pick up, there's a chakra deck that I've been wanting for a very long time. It's like the one other than my Animantras that I know I'm going to want to work with, but for some reason, I keep ending up prioritizing other things. <laughs> and this was what, so I ended up putting it back because I had a budget, <laughs> and I decided to prioritize... Banyan had these little mini ocean drums. Now the only ocean drums I, hi Bruno, the only ocean drums I'd seen before, sorry for the reflection, oh my god that's obnoxious, were huge. This is a little one and it was like $20 Canadian. I mean it's it's not made out of expensive materials, it's got up like a, a clear plastic, they usually do have a clear plastic. You can see the little beads in there but like, did you hear that? Like it's like, Sorry for my face. It just, it actually like makes me so ridiculously happy to play with this. Like you just don't know. <clears throat> so I got that and I'm over the moon about it because I have, I love having like really relaxing, soothing sound things to play with that put me in that headspace. It's just, I love music. I love sound. I love my singing bowls. I have um, flutes that I can play with. I have little hand drum. I have my shaker like I just I, there's just something about sound that just gets me there like immediately meditative space spiritual space it's just whether I'm playing music or making noise myself it's just it takes me back to my drum circle days and my days when I was new to pagan practice and I would go to circle and we would chant or sing it just it just takes me there you know everybody has I think their things when you know if you have a spiritual practice there are things that just get us there. Some of us are scent, some of us are cards, some of us are crystals that we hold, or you know, there's different things for everybody and I just, what's your go-to? Like what's the thing that just, what's the thing that just gets you there? I want to know. I just realized that I've been talking so long that my lap, my, not my laptop, my tablet is like, excuse me, that was too long. We're making another video now, okay? So there'll be a little cut in there. Anyway, more stuff. So I got that and then I checked out and I was good. And I was like, yes, I did it. And then I was chatting with people near the checkout while I was waiting for some of my other peeps. And I realized that they had these really cool little candlers. So these are just long, skinny little beeswax candles. They're really inexpensive, but you use these, you light these and then you use them to light your other candles. So I got four of these in purple. They had all kinds of colors. They're like a dollar a piece. But I thought that would be fun because I use um, like fireplace lighters. But I prefer matches because I like the experience of matches. But going into those taller um, candles and stuff or the deeper holders that I have, matches burn my fingers and I'm a big baby and I don't like burning my fingers. So candlers is what I think they called them. So I got those. And then I feel like I'm almost done. Am I almost done? Yes. <clears throat> and then I was chatting with... Uh, Michelle, she runs uh, EO Chakra Products, which if you want some fan freaking tastic like uh, sprays, like sage spray or like sprays that are tuned to different chakras, she is EO Chakra Products. I'll put a link to her shop down below because she's fabulous and all of her stuff is incredible. She has this, I don't have this, 
I thought about it, but I have a million lip balms right now. But she has a Speak Your Truth essential oil lip balm that's like keyed to the throat chakra. She has a Speak Your Truth spray. She has, I have right now um, back there, I have a Be Still spray, which is keyed to the heart chakra that I spray before I do my readings. Again, I'm babbly today. Sorry. <laughs> but <laughs> that is who I was talking to, and she actually mentioned that uh, she, we were talking, we got on the subject of, I think, rope incense. Yes, she had picked up some rope incense. And I had recently got some. Um, I've got them in this little box here. I would recently got some of these in my Witch's Moon box. And I've just been loving them. These are rose-scented ones. <coughs> and so I was just talking to her because she loves them, about how she burns them. And she'd made for herself, like, a little stand. And in the process, we started talking about different setups. And we were walking into the area that had incense. And I spotted this beauty. Now this is a smudge pot. So it's got this like deep little bowl in here and it came with like the teeniest and most adorablest, did I lose it? No, little baggie of sage leaves. And I actually tried this out last night but I just lit a little sage leaf and then I blew it out and I put the little sage leaf in here and it smoked so beautifully and it was like the perfect size to just kind of hold and what I do is whenever I light sage or I light Palo Santo, I always run it around and underneath all of my hanging decks. It's like a, a great little like cleanse, quick cleanse, quick boost for all my decks. And since I like this stuff regularly, it's really, really handy to do that. But wielding around like a big chunky smudge stick has not been working for me. I have one and I just hesitate to use it because it's so cumbersome. So this little guy is perfect. And I figure what I can do is put my little incense matches in here. And then I figure I can also, oops, I'm throwing my little rope incense, but I figure I can also just curl these little guys up and stick them in there too when I'm burning my rope incense and just burn it in here. So she's going to be my rope incense burner and my little sage leaf burner and that sort of thing. So I was really actually over the moon about her and she's so stunning. She's got this, I don't know if it's picking up on camera, but there's this, she's like this clay color, um, like almost like a deep purpley brown, but then there's this gold like overlay sheen all around her and I just love the way that her arms are wrapping around it just yeah it just I was like yes you're coming home with me so I got her and I think you guys that might be it <laughs> so this ridiculously long video was brought to you by me and my excitement to show and tell and also open my crystal box so thank you so much for hanging out with me if I forget so I've mentioned I'm gonna put a bunch of stuff down in the links if I forget, please feel free to nudge me in the comments. Sometimes I go to publish these and because I'm a squirrel, it all flies out of my head and I forget. And I would love to link all these things. So I'll try to remember to link everything I mentioned. But don't be afraid to remind me ever if I say that and you don't find it in the description box. I'm happy to add it after the fact for you or just give you the link directly and reply to your comments. So with that said, I'm going to sign off for now because I've been talking for a long time and not coughing and I need to celebrate. So thank you so much for hanging out with me and I will see you in my next one. Take care, everybody.